This is where a man, woman, teen, and infant presumed to be a family froze to death. It's how they got here and who helped. That's now part of a cross-border human smuggling investigation. We certainly are seeing it here in the northern border, and this is an example, and, an, and certainly an unfortunate one at that. Wednesday morning, American authorities arrested 47-year-old Steve Shand of Florida in a van just over the border from where the bodies were found. Two Indian nationals were with him, five more were approaching, most of them dressed similarly in new winter gear, including matching boots. One told authorities he bought an illegal student visa to get into Canada to sneak into the U.S. So this is an orchestrated crossing. This is an orchestrated entry to Canada. This immigration lawyer says getting a visa points to a sophisticated operation. It really troubles me that there are people who are profiting off of schemes like this. C'était tellement, tellement tragique. Today, the Prime Minister called the deaths tragic. The Indian High Commission tweeted it will help the investigation. At least some of those Indian nationals came from the Gujarat region. There is a history of Gujarati Indians trying to cross the southern U.S. border. They want to go to U.S. and settle down there because they believe that that's the only country that has a lot of opportunities. American officials say boots worn by those who crossed match tracks from other suspected crossings here. This American immigration lawyer says he knows people who have tried. People who do crazy things for, for hope, what drives them is hope. The reality is people from other countries want to live the American dream. The seven people who made it over the border are in custody in the U.S. The RCMP say they're working to identify the four people who died on this side of the border. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.